Uh, well, they're a great team, you know. Uh, they've won two World Cups in a row. They've got a great coach, good, great captain, you know. So we had to battle hard today. Um, you always go in with an idea of how you want the game to be, but it never goes exactly like that. And you know, I've just got to give so much credit to New Zealand, the way they kept fighting right to the end. Uh, we had to dig deep to win that game. Thank you. Here in the front row, please. Thank you. Front row. え、日本テレビの安村です。え、キックオフで変化を加えていましたが、ま、試合の中でも気になったと思います。ま、どのようなメッセージが込められていたのか、また試合の序盤からあれだけエネルギーを持って戦えた理由を教えてください。so they got a rugby. So we had to take it to them. We wanted to take it to them. We wanted to show that we could we could take it take the game to them. Um, try to put them on the back foot as much as we could. Okay. Yeah. Ah, Eddie, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, when I was in Japan, Eddie, you know, ビッグチームに勝つ時にはあの、相手チームがいつもと違うっていうふうに感じさせたいと。そういうラグビーをしたいって言ってましたけど、今日の試合はそれがしっかりできたっていう試合って考えていいですか。Yeah, well, I think the psychological approach to any game is increasingly becoming important. Um, there's so little difference between the teams and your ability to try to understand what gives them energy and try to take that away from them. And then with your own team, what gives what gives us energy? What what makes us play to our strengths? And then you have to be disciplined enough to follow that. And I thought Owen and the leaders on the field today were absolutely exceptional. That they kept the team disciplined, kept to our game plan, kept attacking where we thought New Zealand was weak, and and didn't didn't uh, divert from there. Eddie, um, normally the, the top teams match each other physically, but tonight uh, you sort of almost overwhelmed the All Black Pack with your physicality. Um, did you think it would happen so easily, and, and what was the magic behind it? Uh, well, I think the, you know, Steve Borthwick and Neil Hatley do a fantastic job drilling the forwards. And I think we were able to get a bit of a physical uh, ascendancy in that area. Um, yeah, it's the way you attack their defence line. It's the way uh, you you manage the breakdown situation. Um, so I think it's due to to the attitude of the players, which is a reflection of their coaches. And I think Steve and, and Hats did a great job today with the forwards. Um, but it's always a battle, you know. The thing about playing New Zealand, you might beat them on the scoreboard, but you never actually beat them. You just see them at the end of the game. They're still coming at us. Thank you. Eddie, given the calibre of the opposition and the fact that it was a World Cup semi-final, where do you think that performance ranks in terms of English rugby history? Uh, it gives us another week, mate. We're here for another week, so we're looking forward to it. Um, we're not historians, we don't know, um, but we, we know that we can play better next week and we're going to have to play better next week uh, whoever we play against, you know, we're looking forward to Wales and South Africa play a three or draw. Um, so they have to play extra time, then it's still three or and they have to play more extra time. 
So um, that's the prediction. Okay, microphone here, please, in the middle. Thanks. Owen, whatever, 77 tests. Where would you rate this one in terms of satisfying to play in? Oh, I enjoy playing in it, definitely. Um, I don't know. I, I can't sit here and rate it now. Um, I've not really, not really looked back um, that far, as Eddie said. Um, but yeah, it was enjoyable, and this tournament's been enjoyable. It's been brilliant so far, and we're looking forward to it another week next week. Okay, at the back there. Yeah, Johnny. Hi, Owen. Um, can you just talk about the you, talk about the hacker? Uh, you seem to be enjoying that moment out there. Yeah, sorry. The hacker, you seem to be enjoying it out there. Uh, whose idea was that? And also, are you, are you okay? How's your leg? I'm all right, thanks, yeah. Um, no, we we were we knew we had to be in a, within a radius uh, behind them, and we wanted we wanted to to not just stand there and let, and let them come at us. Um, we wanted to keep a respectful distance and and be and be respectful to that, but um, we didn't want to just stand in a in a flat line, letting them come at us. Itty Jones, you talked about taking the energy away from the All Blacks. Um, how do you do that? How, how, how did you actually do that? Because it hasn't been seen for a long time. How did you take the energy away from the All Blacks? Uh, well, it's, it's difficult. Um, you know, you got to you got to get on the front foot and be able to sustain that front foot pressure. Um, we wanted to make sure they played from deep, um, which I think we managed to do because we were able to get on the front foot around the ruck, uh, which created opportunities to either to, to run or kick. And then our our kick kick uh, chase was was fantastic, really good. But psychologically, how do you? Uh, well, we've had two and a half years to prepare for it, mate. You know, they had a week to prepare. So, you know, we've been, we've been unconsciously preparing a game for this game. Um, so, you know, when you ingrain habits in your players, they're easier to sustain. And, you know, I think we saw some great habits from our players tonight. Uh, uh, Eddie, -san, you mentioned that the, uh, this week, uh, last 20 minutes of the game was the most important part of this game. So you went into the last 20 minutes six points up. So is it what you have expected? Uh, well, yeah, as we've spoken about, we picked our, our finishes first this week. That was we picked our finishing 15 first uh, because that's always the most crucial area when you play when you play New Zealand and our finishers did a super job for us you know they closed the game out uh, played with energy played with discipline and as a result we New Zealand struggled to get back in the game you have a question there no okay here thanks Owen, uh, this looks like the most fired up, effective, dominant England World Cup team we've seen for years. What's your feeling towards the lads you're captaining at the moment? Um, the, feel, the feeling's calm. Um, the feeling's calm going into the game, building up into it. Uh, we, feel, we feel in control of what, of what we're doing. Uh, obviously, that comes from our preparation, uh, the work that we put in in the week to make sure that you can feel like that because you can't fake that when you're out there, especially in a, in a big test match. So if you see when, when, when they scored points today, we, we were the calmest we've been under the post after that and it showed in our next actions. Thanks, Owen. Far side. Eddie, uh, who would you prefer in the final? Would you like to go one more round with Warren Gatlin before he leaves his job at Wales? Well, we don't control that, mate. Um, but I'll definitely come and watch the game. One row behind, thank you.
Your next bit. Eddie, you and your team are one step from immortality as a rugby team. How ready do you think you are and the squad are for what's to come next week? Oh, we're ready for a good week, mate. That's the only thing we have to be ready for. Um, so all we're thinking about is what are we going to do tomorrow, um, which is recover really well, maybe do a little preparatory work for who we're going to play against, uh, but generally recover well. Then Monday we'll recover well, and then we'll worry about Tuesday and Wednesday. And uh, all that stuff that you're talking about is for you guys to talk about, so enjoy it, because you won't be getting anything from us. <laughs> Mick, yeah, just raise your hand up. Thanks. Here. Thank you. Eddie, what, what does it mean to be in a World Cup final to you personally as an achievement and, and how big an opportunity is in front of these guys now? No, it's just another week. You know, I think I've said that. It's another week for us. Uh, when we flew out on the 8th of September, uh, we wanted to be here at the end uh, and that's where we're at. So it's just another week for us. And, and just your take on the, the hacker before the match. What, what was the plan and what was the thinking behind that? Because well, not many people were well, expecting think, it. I think that's been answered. Okay. Um, so I don't think we need to talk about that anymore. Just one way behind. Yeah, thank you. Eddie, uh, what uh, convinces you that your team will be able to deal with the euphoria of this moment and prepare well, as you've just said, over the coming days? Uh, because we've got the right focus. Yeah, we set out four years ago, I can remember the meeting at Penny Hill Park, our first meeting together. We wanted to be the best team in the world, and we're not the best team in the world. But we've got an opportunity to play in a game where we can prove we are, and that's the only thing we're concerned with. And we'll just take each day as it comes. Prepare well each day. As boring as it seems for you guys, it's fun. Um, players are loving it. Getting up every morning, preparing well, working hard, working with each other enjoying the Japanese culture. Um, we've got some guys who basically live in onsens. I think there's uh, going to be a couple of onsens put down at Bath um, very shortly. So if you know anyone that makes onsens, there's a business opportunity. Um, and they're just enjoying the tournament, mate. You know, and, and we've got another week to enjoy it, and that's what we'll do. Thanks. Last two questions, one here and the final one at the back there on the left. Eddie, right in front of you here. Hey, um, are you going to miss coaching against Steve Hansen? And just how do you rate him and what has tonight's result done for your guys' close relationship? Uh, well, I just saw him and uh, we're going to catch up and have a drink. So probably there's nothing that changed the relationship. Look, he's a great coach. I think you know, I first coached against him in 97 for the Crusaders. He was coaching the Crusaders and I was coaching the Brumbies and... Uh, We've had some wins, we've had some losses. He's a great rugby man. You know, he, he'll go down as one of the greatest all-black coaches. I think he's always... The thing that's impressed me about him is that he always looks to see what's best for the game. Um, and he's going to be missed from the game, but I'm sure there'll be opportunities for him to be involved. I know he's coming back here and, and coaching at Toyota, uh, so they, their cars will run a bit faster. Um, and I'm sure he's going to get involved in, in uh, helping World Rugby. Um, they're not a sponsor, are they? So I'm probably in trouble there. Um, but, uh, no, nah, you know, he's a great rugby man. Great rugby man. <laughs> Final question at the back there. Thanks. Owen, I thought you got a lot of momentum off your line at launches in the first half. How much time did you... Um, take during the week trying to exploit Richie Moong on second, third phase off those line-up launches? No, it's... it's um, it it weren't, weren't spent on time... Sorry. Time weren't spent on trying to get to him. Uh, time was spent trying to get our momentum, so getting our stuff right. And I think I think we managed to do that. Obviously, Manu's a massive weapon, weapon for us in, in that area. And uh, we've got some brilliant ball car carriers off the back of that, that run. That runs some good lines. We're just trying to play to space off the back of it. Okay, that's it, folks. Thank you and congratulations, England. Thank you very much, that.